Okay, let's add some more different filters to this. So I want to randomize the lengths between the hair. So this to multiply and randomize. And then also add frizz. Frizz and or wave is really helpful in creating hair that looks a lot more natural. And this frizz looks crazy. So I want the frequency to be random. And as same as the amplitude. So you can kind of see oops, that there's now random hair sticking out, but it's a bit too strong. You can see the kinks in the hair from it not being as subdivided. But don't worry about this because remember that we turned this off in the viewport. It will render properly as a subdivision curve. Okay, so now... You can see this just helps to break it up even further. And it's obviously more visible on longer hair. So something that really helps with realism is having um, stray hairs or baby hairs. Um, and one way you could do that is with a guide mask. So right now, you can see it's everything's turned red because it's selecting all the hairs. And I can use a random mask. This is, yeah, Houdini is just so powerful. The fact that you can mask by noise or external geometry if you want to just mask a selection. Um, in this case, I want just a fraction of the hair, so you can, I don't know if you can see it. Some of them are red or some aren't. If I turn this on and off, you'll be able to visualize it. And just note that you can do this on the guides as well. So this is the percentage of hairs that I, I want to use as the stray hairs. So I'm going to call this I'm going to name it here, stray hair mask. And I'm going to do a length because I want these hair to be, the stray hairs to be slightly longer. I'm going to set this to multiply. And instead of cut or extend, I'm going to scale it. Randomize. Okay, and you can see it did that to all the hairs. But if I go into this group here and write stray hair mask, and then oh, sorry. <laughs> That didn't work because I, in the guide mask, I forgot to click create group. Okay. Back to this. So now in the length, I should be able to select the group here. There we go. If I turn it off, you can see the stray hairs growing longer. And... I like to group these just so I know what these nodes are doing. Okay, and I also want to create stray hairs on the feet. Okay, so 
I'm just going to add another one of these backdrop nodes and call this straight hair feed and I'll do another guide mask. And similar kind of situation, we'll do a random. Fraction, and I'm just going to change the seed so that it's slightly different because I, I chose this, I'm doing the same value here, but then if I, if I change the seed, it will randomize it a bit. Um, and right, let's name it this time. Hair mask, and I'm going to create grip. And another thing that I want to do is that I don't want this mask to affect all the hairs all over the body. I want the paws to look furrier. So what I can do is under the input, I can use the skin attribute and I can reuse the paw lift mask that I had already painted. And you can see this is all the hairs up here are now black and I still have some selected near the paws. And do another set length. This time choosing stray feet hair mask. And multiply scale. Oops. Great, now his feet look even more fuzzier. And don't forget that you can, you can keep adding as many filters as you want or guide processes. So these are all the different ones and you can just keep layering and creating a network. And this this is the output that will be rendered, so just make sure that you bring this into here. And also, oops. We could add the guy Clyde with VDB back in if we wanted to, if we're having issues, but it looks like that I'm actually having issues with the guides with this patchiness. So let me delete this. And Another thing that I like to do, as always, is just create a null so that it's easier to select later if I need to. So it's out, body, hair. Okay. So if I go back into the fur node, um, let's see what happens if I choose to grow unguided hair. Does that change anything? No. So let's see what happens if I bring the influence radius up. That didn't change anything. Okay, let's try turning off the bounding box. It's, it's strange that it's doing this, but... 
Okay, and that, that fixed it. So it wasn't a guide or a hair problem. It was just the optimization. Okay, sure. <laughs> okay, and so that's that's really all I did with the body fur. I didn't do too much with it. Um, just because it's quite basic, but you can see how quickly you can build something in Houdini with the nodes. It's, it's really great, especially reusing the masks and selecting things down the line. Okay, 